Hi Junior Rangers. I'm Miss Jen. Miss Kate is helping me today as well. This is our last Junior Ranger topic and it is all about aquatic life. If you think about what lives in a river or a lake or a stream, you probably will think of certain animals first, like fish, frogs, and turtles. Those are all really good aquatic animals, but they're easy to see. They're swimming around and you can see them easily from land. And there's actually a lot of other animals that live in the water. We just don't think of them right away because a lot of times they're buried under the mud in the, in the water. So today we're gonna to take a look at some of the really interesting aquatic animals that live just under the surface of the water that a lot of times are hard for us to see. So we're gonna use special nets in order to find these creatures. Some of them might be young insects. Some of them might be what we call crustaceans, which are like little shrimp or crayfish. So there's lots of cool things that we could possibly find living in the waterways. One thing that we have to be very careful about is to look at the water first. And if it looks like it has any kind of um, slick surface or a spilled paint or a greenish, we don't wanna go in any water that could have uh, harmful algal blooms or anything like that. So be sure that if you do look in the water for animals like Miss Kate and I are, that the water is clean. All right, so we're gonna use uh, some little butterfly nets and we're also going to use a really big net. This is called a saving net. And it has small holes that don't allow some of the creatures to escape and we can scoop them up and see what lives in the lake and the stream. So we're gonna test this out and see what we can find. See, there's no like it's a scoop part in the scooping. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's. Is that is there anything in the middle there? It's a hard spot to do it in small spaces, it's harder to use the same net because it is so large. So we're gonna try out some other different nets to see what else we can find right on the bottom of the lake. Oh, I got a fish. God, it's so tiny. <laughs> we gotta try to find it now. How are you, buddy? Uh, there it is. This is for the outdoor adventurers, so it's a little more advanced. Some of the stuff that we find can only be found in certain types of water quality. So in other words, 
if we find these things down on this chart that are in the group three, they can be found in any kind of water body. That doesn't matter how clean or dirty it may be. And the group two animals are somewhat sensitive to pollution. So if we have those in the water, it means the water is okay. It's pretty good. And if we find anything in group one, that means these, these animals are only found in really, really good water quality. So some of these, not all, but some of these animals can tell us about the quality of the water. And we found these little tiny shrimp and it, they're called scuds. And scuds are little freshwater shrimp that we can find in the lakes and streams in Burlington County. And they are what we call group two, so they are somewhat sensitive to pollution, so they're found in, in water that is pretty good. So that is a, it's a good piece of information because it tells us a little bit more about the water. What you got? Uh, dragonfly larva. Oh, good. Another oh, thing. little fish. When a dragonfly egg hatches, this is what we call the nymph. So this is the young stage of a dragonfly, and it stays like this for most of its life under the water. It doesn't look anything like an adult dragonfly, and it'll eat anything it can get. It's this top predator. This is a damselfly nymph, so much skinnier, just like how the adult damselflies are skinnier than dragonflies. This little nymph is also skinnier, and he has three tails coming off the back. So that that's how we can tell it's a it's a damselfly nymph. So this is a like a baby damselfly, and this is a baby dragonfly. So here again is our chart, and it turns out today we found the scud, the dragonfly nymph, the damselfly nymph, and we know that there's freshwater clams. So everything that we found is actually in group two. So that's interesting information. We didn't find any uh, group threes, which is good, and we didn't find any group ones, which means the water isn't fantastic, like super amazing perfect, but it's okay. And that's what we learned uh, from doing this activity, but the water this, these animals are somewhat sensitive to pollution, so they, can, they are um, telling us that the water quality is okay. And that's, that's good to know. So that's what we learned from this uh, scening. So hopefully you can find similar animals when, if you do this with a net. Yeah, so if you have a butterfly net, and a stream, lake, or pond that's near you and you don't mind getting a little muddy, go out and try to skim right across the mud line to see if you can find anything. And if you do, send us some pictures. Now, make sure that if you do do this activity, that you put all animals that you find back in the water. We wanna make sure we keep everyone safe and they have a nice life after we see them. Thank you, Ms. Kate. And we also want to make sure that if you if you touch anything, make sure you don't have um, any kind of chemicals on your hands, like sunscreen or bug spray or hand sanitizer. Make sure that you're not harming the creatures with anything on your hands. So I think that that's that it for, ends Junior Ranger. For us. So thanks for for watching and being a part of this. Yeah, thank you. Have a great rest of your yeah. summer, guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.